I'm pretty sure by now that everybody on the planet knows that we've just had the most intense geomagnetic storm since 2003. So that's 20 years. And you know, I really love it when this shit happens for a couple of reasons. Firstly, because it just confirms everything I've been saying over the last decade about the sun and our planet changing due to the 26,000 year cycle that we exist in. But what I really love is that it wakes up so many more people because they've just seen something they've never witnessed before. So if you're one of those people and you've found this video because seeing an aurora for the first time in your life has sparked your curiosity and now you're seeking out more info, then hello, what's taking you so long? You've got a lot to catch up on, so don't waste any time. Now, as I said, they're reporting that this is the strongest geomagnetic storm since 2003. But you know, we didn't see any major takedowns of the grids. So I'm wondering if it really was as strong as the 2003 storm or are the impacts of the energy just being registered in our atmosphere because of the weakening of our magnetic field? Because as we know, it's very much weaker now than it was back then. I think this is why this geomagnetic storm resulted in auroras being seen in places they are rarely seen or in places they are never seen, like far north Queensland, Australia, where they have never been recorded, guys. But as you can see with these photos flooding social media, there was a definite red glow in the skies of far north Queensland which is literally called Tropical North Queensland. Auroras are being seen in the tropics, guys. That's mind-blowing. And that just confirms that things have definitely changed with our magnetic field since 2003 because there were no auroras reported in far north Queensland in 2003. And there were no auroras reported in other areas in the tropics in 2003. Now, spaceweather.com states that auroras were reported in Europe, the UK, Asia, Japan, Mexico, and all 50 states, including Hawaii. And they were also reported in Puerto Rico for the first time since 1921. Guys, that's over a century ago. Okay, so you guys who have been following my videos for a while will probably remember that a couple of months ago I uploaded a video regarding how sensitive our upper atmosphere was to the slightest change in energy output from our sun compared to the last solar max of 2011 and 2012. Now, even the smallest sea flares are ionizing the top of our atmosphere and registering in the global D layer absorption data. Well, we can expect that to increase even more now. At the moment, you can see that in this data, both poles are showing the intense proton storm that we've just experienced due to the coronal mass ejections that were associated with those X flares. Now this is slowly subsiding, but you can see in the middle there where it's a greenish yellow color, that's the energy being registered from just a small C flare. And if you've been watching the data, you can see now how much wider the area of ionization is. And guys, this is just the beginning. There is no doubt that we are now in the peak of this solar maximum. And we can expect that this heightened activity is going to continue for months. So can you imagine how that's going to translate to an escalation in earth changes on our planet? 
starting to make sense now why they were pushing that man-made weather psyops, doesn't it? Because I can guarantee you that this saturation of energy is going to result in more extreme and severe weather events, more flooding, more tornadoes, hurricanes, and even more lightning strikes, killing animals and people. And we can also expect an escalation in tectonic and volcanic activity. And especially in the coming days due to the planet just being juiced up from this last energy hit. In fact, we're already beginning to see this, but I'll talk about that a bit later. So to any of you who are still hanging on to this man-made weather geoengineering psyops, and believe that this is all them controlling the weather, there is going to be no excuse for being so gullible when the principle of correspondence is going to be clearly evident in the coming months. Now, these energy hits have originated in Sunspot 3664, which is a behemoth and comparable in size to the sunspot of the legendary Carrington event. So far, it's produced eight X flares, and even though it's no longer facing the Earth, it will still impact us as it moves around to the western limb of the Sun, because it is going to have a stronger magnetic connection to our planet due to something called the Parker Spiral Effect. But look behind it. If you think that 3664 was massive, what about the one moving towards us now? 3674. Now, it may not be as magnetically unstable as 3664, but that could change as it becomes more Earth-facing. Again, guys, this is just the beginning. So buckle up and get ready for shit to escalate big time. And remember, it's not just the energy output of our star and Earth changes that are going to escalate, but also their political shit show. So expect that to escalate big time too. Okay, so there's something else we can expect after these intense energy hits. And that is a few days later, after it's percolated through the planet, it gets expressed in the form of strong tectonic activity and volcanic eruptions. And it seems like we're already seeing this in a very unusual earthquake swarm today over in Baja, California, Mexico. So if you look at this earthquake data from the last 12 hours, there's been a big increase in activity over there. And if you look at the earthquake activity in this area over the last year, just look at that escalation. Now, what's even more concerning is that when I was reading the article about this earthquake swarm, they just mentioned that it was nine kilometers north-northwest of Delta, Baja, California, Mexico. So I looked up what was nine kilometers north-northwest of Delta, Baja, California, Mexico. And the map from the article where they were showing the earthquake swarm. And it's the frickin' Cerro Prieto volcano. Now, why wouldn't the media report on that? Well, maybe because of this. When I looked into the last time it erupted, the only information available is in the form of a legend from the Kukupas Indians in which they described it as a monster that covered the land with rocks, which grew through the soil and emitted fire tongues. So I'm thinking that the government agencies are probably not wanting the masses to know that a long dormant volcano is waking up. And you can expect to hear about more dormant volcanoes stirring awake, which is something else I have been warning about over the years. And I also feel for the people of Iceland, 
because they are going to continue to see more volcanic activity and more towns becoming unlivable. Now, I also want to address the ridiculous psyops that are being pushed by shills and gullible fools that these auroras were caused by harp. Some of these clowns are even proclaiming that they are directing harp at the sun and causing these flares. Seriously, you would have to be the most gullible of fools to believe this rubbish. And it just confirms you haven't done your due diligence and gone and done any research. Your research consists of believing some popular YouTuber tell you what you want to believe. No, this isn't harp. So wake the hell up and stop allowing yourself to be a victim of their psyops. And anybody who has been looking into all of this for over a decade and is still caught up in these psyops, what can I say? You're a freaking clown and they're laughing at you for being so simple-minded and easy to influence with their propaganda. Lastly, I'm going to repeat. We are at the end of a 26,000 year cycle. I have lots of research and my studies available on my channel that I've collated over the last decade. If you have just found my channel and this is the first time you have watched one of my videos, please don't comment until you are aware of all my research and please don't refer me to other space weather channels. I've been doing this a very long time and I'm fully aware of all those other channels. I'm not interested in any space weather channel selling merchandise and spots on their ranch or in any space weather channel whose research doesn't include the 26,000 year great year or the very important spiritual aspect of what's happening. These events are only going to continue to escalate. If you're just finding this information for the first time, keep seeking. There is much more that you need to inform yourself about so that you can prepare yourself and your family for what's approaching. No doubt you already sense that something's not right with the world. Well, that's your soul. It's screaming at you to wake up from the hypnosis that they've put you under in this fake system that we're now existing in. Everything I've mentioned in this video is posted in the description. And as always, guys, take care out there and peace out.